Grayson Warfare is a game that I have wanted to talk about and I think now it's a perfect opportunity for that because they just dropped a new trailer. Essentially what this game is going to be is a tactical first person looter shooter extraction game heavily inspired by games like Escape from Tarkov and Ghost Recon franchise. If you combine these two games together, you probably get the good idea what Grayson Warfare is aiming to be. Idea of this game is to explore map size of 42 square kilometers. It can contain missions and tasks that will be mixed with intelligent AI or real players. If I remember correctly, maximum amount of players in the map playing at the same time will be around 30 players. It can be either played as a solo survivor or squad with the map is pretty much the same size as Red Dead Redemption, which is a huge terrain, my question is how often we will see PvP taking place in the world. In the trailer we have seen mountains, obviously that brings the playable area to much smaller scale, at least they don't look like they will be part of the playable area, at least these ones on the trailer. The map is based on fictional southern eastern country, heavily inspired by beautiful landscape of Laos. It will have some type of story, they are saying this, utilize explorable landing zones and helicopters to move through the persistent world that keeps on living even when you are not playing. This is probably what I'm most excited about this game is the fact that every single time when you decided to go online, the world has moved on. One thing that I have always hated about the EFT is the fact that when the map restarts every every like 30 minutes, it will create extremely annoying meta for certain areas of the map. And one of them is a spawn camping or extraction camping. In this game, extraction will be happening by calling a helicopter pickup. When you find one, extraction can be called. It will have a realistic flight time. It heavily depends which part of the map you will be. How many extraction points will be in the game remains unknown. The entire area has been put under international quarantine. Three PMTs are tasked to uncover its secrets and bring back anything of value. Like we saw in the trailer, looting is going to be a huge part of the game. It looks similar to Escape from Tarkov inventory. Healing system will be complicated just like in EFT. They want to push the game to the next level in terms of healing, which makes this game extremely slow and hardcore, which is definitely not going to be for everyone. Especially when the map will be this big. In Grace on Warfare, adventure and exploring the map is playing a huge role. Apparently the community voted a storytelling over weapon customization in terms of game development. This is one of those games where you might travel for hours searching the next missing piece for the storyline and you might die and not even seeing the enemy and you end up losing everything and you discharge the journey from the beginning. Weapon customization is playing a huge part of the game. You are able to create your own uh, firearm that perfectly suits your needs and playstyle by exchanging, removing or adding hundreds of various parts. Sniper rifle optic in the game looks fantastic, I can just imagine what kind of guns you are able to build. Grayzone Warfare is a game that I'm extremely excited, I think that was everything that I wanted to talk about this game, it's going to be a hardcore first person shooter, heavily focusing on immersion, it has a story to follow, there will be PvP slash PvE in the large map which will which will be fully exp explorable. You are able to scavenge yourself in the way you like, customize your weapon, customize your kit, and soon as we get our hands on this game, you will be seeing a lot more about this game on the channel. If you're excited about this game, let me know your thoughts down below, and i catch you in the next one.